So I grew up in the Netherlands and the closest city to me was Amsterdam. The place is full of public transport from trams to buses to the new underground metro. Basically the entire city is reachable if not by bike, by some form of public transport. So when I came to Glasgow, I honestly felt a little lost. There was no OV chip cards, like a universal card to take you to every part of the city. And I just couldn't really figure out how the whole city like connected together. But now I'm a third year and I've kind of figured things out. So I figured why not share them with all of you. Let's start off with buses. So the bus connections will literally take you everywhere in the city. So all the buses are run by this company called First Bus. Um, they've got a nice little app like every transport company does at this point where you can plan your trip and all of that. Um, in first year, I had this job that required me to travel quite a lot around Glasgow. Um, so I got pretty familiar with how the buses here work. And now I know to always show up at least five to 10 minutes earlier to the bus stop because they kind of run on their own schedules. It might say that a bus is meant to come at like quarter past 12, but it might be there at like 12 past 12. And if you weren't there, that's your own problem. Um, so yeah, I like to be there a little bit ahead of time so that I know it's never me to blame. That's just a little, a little handy tip. Very recently, the Scottish government has just announced the under 21's free bus pass, which is crazy and incredible. And if you're a first year or second year, or if you're 21 or under, you can literally get this free bus pass and travel all around Glasgow and all around Scotland for that matter for free, which is crazy. Why would you not do it? Apply now because it's amazing and you won't be under 21 for your whole life. So that's amazing. Um, there's literally no reason to not apply and it opens up your travel possibilities to the entire country. The trains in Glasgow and the whole of Scotland are, as far as I know, run by ScotRail. Uh, this means that they kind of function in the same way as trains across the whole of the UK. So you should be able to apply for or buy a 16 to 25 rail card, which means you get a third discount off of all your trips, which is very worth getting because in my opinion, train travel is really, really expensive. Um, so get that rail card. So yeah, you can get all around Glasgow and Scotland for that matter with the trains. You can even take a direct train to London which is what I did a couple weekends ago. Uh, it only takes like five hours, and if you get it at the right time, it's pretty good value for money, so that's pretty cool. And then we have the subway. So yeah, the subway was built in 1986, and the original line has not changed since, which is crazy. Um, basically, the subway has two lines. Um, they both stop at the same stops. The only difference is they go the other direction. So you have one line that goes this way and one line that goes that way. Um, it's just a big circle. It hasn't changed since they made it in 1986. It's really cute. I don't know how functional it is, but it's cute and small and loud. I don't really use a subway so much just because I feel like I don't really need to get to the places where it stops. But every time I do get the subway, I'm like, oh my god, well this is so cute. It's just so like small and cute, you know. And finally, as a duchy, I could never finish a transport video without talking about bikes. my life. She has a name. I didn't give it to her. It's Elsie. Uh, but Elsie takes me everywhere and basically the whole West End, even South Side, is accessible within like a 20 or 30 minute cycle. It's changed my life. You won't see me anywhere in the city without my bike. I definitely also cannot talk about bikes without recognizing that the roads in Glasgow really aren't that great. <laughs> But um, I think a lot of money is being invested into creating like cycle lanes and the city should be like cycle friendly in the next, I don't know, five to 10 years when I'm no longer here to enjoy that. If you want to invest in your own bike, I would highly recommend it. You can get really affordable bikes on Gumtree or Facebook Marketplace. And if you don't want to invest in your own bikes, then there's a lot of like uh, next bike or Ovo bike stations around the city 
and they work on an app and if you're a student you can get your first 30 minutes for free so you can basically like cycle around the city for free uh, i think probably because glasgow is such a like bike unfriendly city that like there's a lot of things that pop up to help you out with the whole experience so um there's a really really cool charity called uh bike for good they like refurbish old bikes and they sell like secondhand things and they'll do they'll fix your bike and they'll show you how to fix your bike so that you can do it on your own i think they're a really really cool charity and if you are looking to get a bike or if you're looking to fix your bike i think that's definitely a place to go and then there's the uni bike hub um which is super cool it's basically just like part of the university cycling club i think and they do like weekly sessions where you can sign up and they'll f do like minor fixes on your bike for free i went to one and the guy was fixing my bike uh shout out to finley like he was great and he helped me so much but yeah once you know about the public transport options and all the little loopholes for free or discounted travel, then I think it all looks a little less intimidating. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope this was helpful. I think this is another one of those videos that like I would have made or I would have liked to know before I came here or like as a first year. So hopefully this helps the intended demographic. Um, yeah if you have any questions you can text me at ella.con on instagram see y'all there bye